Welcome back, everyone. This is part eight of our RPG series. Um, in today's episode, we are going to hop right into animation. So we're going to switch everything over to animation player, just like I did for the slime. So what I'm doing right now is you can follow along. I'm just creating a new animation for each animation that the player has. And I think it also has death. All right, and the first thing we're going to do, obviously, is first I'm going to check this. Ah, okay. Well, we'll leave that code there, but disconnect it. We'll also delete the animated sprite. All right. Um, now what we're going to do, because we still need the animation, is we're going to drag in our player. And then we're going to go to the inspector, go to the animation. One, two, three, four, five has five viewframes and one, two, three, four, five, six, and six horizontal frames. And we're just going to move it upwards a little bit. There we go. And I actually want to center it so that way it's in zero. And then for idle, it should be pretty easy. It should be the top one, I believe. So we go to animation frame, the first one, up a bit, go to frame one, and click, 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 click. Uh, click, yeah. And let's just play it. No, we want to loop it. Let's play it and loop. Okay, that looks like let's do zero point seven. And we'll do 0 0.6. All right, and then we're gonna make sure it's looped. And then we're going to click A on this. So this is the default animation that we want to play. Now we're going to go to this next one, run. Run, I'm gonna to go to zero. We're going to add frame six. Sorry, you know what? Yeah, it's frame six. Here, six, six, go to point one, I'm going to add seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And then this one is attack, so twelve will be attack. Go to point one, thirteen, thirteen, fifteen. And this one is a lot quicker, it's zero point. Three five seconds, I'll keep it like that. And then I can play it. It's very quick. Um, I might actually make it a little slower. And to do that, I'll make it like 0 0.6 and kind of just edge everything out. And then this will be at 0 0.6. Get 0 0.7 actually. Alright, so now if we play it, it's a lot slower. Alright, and there's a very good reason why we did this. Um, I think we can we'll do death as well, just to fix it. Or finish it. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24. And then we're going to go to 25, 26. Okay, so this is a very short frame, but uh, it is an animation, I guess. Yeah, it's like three frames, but boom, needs to. All right, um, now we want to fix up the code. And for the animated sprite, so here's a good uh, hack, I guess. If you do Control R, it'll and so you have the thing highlighted. You can replace a word with any other word. And what we're going to do is replace bleh, replace it with animation player, and then replace all. And then what we're going to do is go to animation player, animation finished, and then this one is a bit different. Is it? Yeah, it is. I think it's current animation. Yeah. Um, attack and play idle. All right. And now, ooh, something happened here. Ah, the, we can get rid of this guy. Okay. So left doesn't work yet, but we'll fix that in a second. 
also doesn't animate properly. Let's take a look. Animation finished. If anim okay, wait. What we can do is we're gonna actually delete this. No, no, sorry. We're gonna cut this. So we want this piece of code. Now we're gonna delete this and then disconnect the string and then put it back. And then we're gonna do this instead. Let's see if that works. Animation player play. Yeah, that's why. Let's give that a try by attack. Okay. What's going on here? Um, okay, I don't think we need that then. One more time. Okay, wonderful. It works. <laughs> okay. Now, um, what we can do is we can duplicate this attack left and then in the player there is the where is it offset flip h equals true and we're going to add that there and then this is e attack i'm going to turn this off make sure that's off there and then we're going to do the same thing for run uh, for run we're going to make sure this is off and then we're also going to duplicate this and this will be run left oh sorry let me just rename that get rid of that and then we can go here and we can actually just tick that there all right and now when we are here um run Ooh. Okay, this is fine. We can leave it like this for now. Run left and then run, not run, just run. Okay, and then for the attack, ooh, right. I kind of want to see which direction we're pointing in, actually. Okay, instead of that, what I can do is actually just flip uh, get node, and we're going to do get player, flip h equals true. And then we're going to see if this works, which I don't actually think it will, uh, because in the attack, let me just delete this real quick. Okay, that should work. Yeah, okay. So what I did there is I'm actually going to, I'm not going to use, okay, I, this is my mistake. Uh, we're not going to use attack left or run left. Um, we're just going to flip it once it's, once we're do, going to the left. And then when we're going to the right, we're going to say it's false. And now things. Ooh, that's interesting. I'll double check that in a minute. But now kind of works properly. We can attack either side. Um, on the run, let's get rid of this though, because that's why it was. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So now it's fully functioning with the animation player. And now let's move on to the collision. So for the collision, what we're going to do is we're going to add a area. You can also do a normal collision, but I'm gonna do an area 2D. And then we're also going to add a collision shape. And then we're going to make it into a little circle. Actually, let's see if there's another shape. Now nah, we'll do a little circle. Okay, and what we're going to do here is when we attack on this frame, we're going to have this little attack come up and then we're going to say monitoring is true and then monitoring false. 
once it's done. And then false right here. And so now, whenever it attacks, it'll monitor for that one for that quick little second, half a second, 0.1 seconds, and then it'll finish, and then it'll go back. So now what we can do is we can do body entered. We'll connect it to the player. And then what we'll do is print body.name, just to test it, to see if it works. So now if I attack, whoops, it is in fact. <laughs> okay, what we'll do is if body.name not equal player. Print body. All right, so now it doesn't print my name, but I can now, I should be able to attack the slime, yeah. Um, what I can do is I can actually make, I'm actually going to change this into a capsule and make it slightly bigger, yeah. All right, there we go. Now I can attack the slime. And it kind of works. However, the problem, which you might not be able to see, is that it only works on the right side. And the reason that's happening is because we're not flipping it when the player is left, right? So I'm actually wondering if this works. Let's see. No, it does not work. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. OK, and so what we can do is um, we're going to check. No, sorry. Um, on this guy. Okay, actually, because the video is a bit long, um, I think I'll actually end it here. And I'll let you guys kind of figure it out until the next video. And yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you learned something. If not, let me know what I can improve on. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.